Almost everyone has heard the Lamborghini song, but did you know that if there was no Ferrari, there would be no Lamborghini? And then the world would never have the world's first ever supercar, the Lamborghini Miura. But if you think Ferrari helped Lamborghini build a car, of course not. Ferruccio Lamborghini, the founder of Lamborghini intending to produce a refined grand touring car, a better Ferrari so to speak. Here's the sweet revenge story between two of the best sports car companies in the world. Ferruccio Lamborghini was born in a small village to a family of farmers in Italy. His father grew grapes in his fields. From early childhood, Ferruccio was fascinated with engines and his interest in engines evolved from his father's equipment with which he would experiment. As a young boy, Lamborghini was already very interested in mechanics and loved taking things apart. So, he began to study engineering. During World War II, he joined the army in the Regia Aeronautica, which was an isolated area with no car or truck repairing facility. He learned to repair broken down cars, motorcycles and trucks with reused parts. He became popular as an expert at mechanical improvisation and fixing engines. Lamborghini was taken prisoner when the island of Rhodes fell to the British at the end of the war in 1945 and was not able to return home until the next year. Soon after the World War had ended, Lamborghini recognized that there was a lack of farm tractors after the war. Ferruccio started to build tractors and decided to open a tractor company. He made tractors using parts from military vehicles. When his father, who was a farmer, desperately needed a tractor, Lamborghini decided to use whatever spare parts he could find and make him one. The tractor became very popular with his father's friends. And soon they wanted one too. In a few years, his small tractor business became a successful company and became one of the largest agricultural equipment manufacturers in Italy. Ferruccio had never thought to shift his business from farm vehicles to supercars, but his destiny had found a way to draw him into this business. Soon, Ferruccio Lamborghini became a rich and very successful businessman. So Ferruccio could afford dozens of luxury cars such as Maseratis and Mercedes-Benz. He also decided to purchase several Ferraris and this is where the success story of the Lamborghini begins and started to evolve to one of the most successful luxury car manufacturers in the world. When Ferruccio Lamborghini bought a brand new Ferrari, he was not very satisfied with his car. He considered it to be more a repurposed track car than a regular road car, as the Ferrari was too noisy and rough to handle. He especially hated the clutch, because he had to repair it himself many times. Lamborghini was fond of the Ferrari but was not completely satisfied with it, so he decided to make several suggestions to Enzo Ferrari, the founder of Ferrari, including design changes that could help him to improve his luxurious Ferraris. Ferrari was one of the few companies that made the best sports car in the 1960s and Ferrari had a big brand name. Due to this pride, Enzo Ferrari's response to Lamborghini's suggestions was not positive at all but insulted him also by commenting that, the problem is not in the car, but in the driver who drives it. It is better to focus on your tractor business than paying attention to my cars. You are a tractor driver, you are a farmer, you may be able to drive a tractor, but you will never be able to handle a Ferrari properly. Ferruccio Lamborghini was so furious. Ferrari's comment encouraged Lamborghini to prove him wrong. Lamborghini decided to pursue his vision of a perfect sports car. Lamborghini decided to start his own car company. By then, cars were just a hobby for him, but now, he decided to turn this hobby into a passion. In 1964 Lamborghini manufactured the first versions of the Lamborghini 350 GT in only a few months, which exceeded the performance of a Ferrari considerably. Lamborghini became one of the most expensive and most exclusive car brands in the world. His new car attracted a lot of sports car enthusiasts and thus Ferruccio laid the foundation of Lamborghini's success. 
After the success of the Lamborghini 350 GT, Ferruccio also produced a sports car which included the Jarama, the Espada, the Miura, and the Slero that gave tough competition to Ferrari sports cars. Ferruccio Lamborghini has shown us how incredibly successful you can become in life and what kind of a mythos you can establish only by facing a problem in his daily life. A vision that evolved out of this problem and a competitor that truly spurred Lamborghini.